So we know the pathway to living long is in you serving the Lord. I mean, you having passion for God. Glory to God. Amen. We shall remind ourselves this morning. You cannot claim to love God and yet you don't know his word. You're not interested in his word. You don't apply his word. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So ignorance is the highway to living life below the expected time ignorance lack of interest ignoring god not just that you don't know kuna bitu ujui kwa maana haujui kuendesha ndege kwa maana hakuna nafasi hakuna kuelimika lakini mambo ya mungu inasemekana lazima utie juhudi ya kujua watu wangu wanapotea na kuangamia kwa sababu hawana fahamu ama elimu ya neno langu bwana asifiwe sana amen and in John 14, 21, he says, You show that you love him. You have his word and you keep it. You have his word and you keep it. He that has my commandment and keeps it, practices it, knows it, has a sense, desire, hunger, thirst, and a commitment to practice it. It is he that loves me. That is the word of Jesus. So your love is not just by saying i love you jesus it is by knowledge revelation of who god is in your life and honoring him and applying yourself to the ways of the lord have we not read before the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33 they about he said and if you take to go in the ways of the lord then he shall make sure you live long let me get there Deuteronomy chapter 33 uh, chapter 5 we just read now Mbukumu la Torati sura ya tatu. Amini ya tano. Mstari wa salasina tano. Na tatu. Mwisho wake pale. And you shall walk in all the ways with the Lord your God has commanded. Kani neno la mungu ni amri. Unaijua, unafata. Nasema hivi. Na you shall live. And that it may be well with you. And that you may prolong your days in the land. Hapo tasoma di kisonga. Lakini remember that. It is in the knowing the word of God that guarantees your life. Look at the greatest secret of all time in the scripture to secure the help of God, the long life, is in dwelling in the presence of the Lord. Siri ya kudumu katika mungu na maisha marefu ni katika wewe kukaa ndani ya uwepo wa mungu. Uwepo wa mungu niyo Una, is a, is like soul that preserves life. Amen? In the book of uh, Zechariah chapter 8. Let's look at Zechariah chapter 8. Kitabu cha Zechariah sura ya nane msari wa kwanza wa pina wa tatu pala. Anasema kwamba Verse 2 says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus said the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mount of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus said the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age, in old age. Anasema nitarejea tena, ni kadumu katika Yerusalemu. Na kwa sababia, uwepo wangu, ndani Yerusalemu, ni tasababisha, waze, wa mama kwa wanaume, waweze kupati kana, wakiwa na vikongojo, wa sababu ya miaka mingi. Wana siwe sana. Sio kwa mbadu wana kwa vijana, na, I mean, wa mama, na waze, I mean, waze wa mama na wanaume, lakina ya sema kwa mba, ni tarejea, Na uwepo wangu utaka katikati ya Yerusalemi. I will return and I will dwell in Jerusalem. And because of that, you shall find in the year that come, there shall yet be old men and old women having their staff in their hand because of old age. Wepo wa mungu siri yake kubwa ni kutafuta na kudumu katika wepo wa buwana. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Jambo lingine ambalo nafanya wepo wa mungu uwe karibu sana. Naona kwa sababu ya vile mungu alisema kari kitabu cha 
kutoka. And the Bible says like this, the reason why Israel was delivered out of Egypt was not because they were crying very much. They were slaves and they were suffering. No, it was because God said, let my people go and serve me. And that is what we want to talk about this morning. Amen? Tumesema tunasabarabara ambaye inasababisha wewe uishi miaka mingi isiwe ni ajali isiwe kwamba tunasema kwa uongo kama dunia kwamba unajua uh, mtu anaweza kufa wakati wowote tu anybody can die any time you are not anybody you are a child of god amen na Mungu ameweka kwamba ahadi yake ni kuna mambo na njia ambayo unastahili kufuata ili uweze kuishi ile miaka ume, umependezwa naye amesema I will satisfy you with long life. Hakuna gezi wa hapa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna njia na kuna mambo ya kufanya. Tuliona upendo wako juu ya Mungu unasababisha uweze kuishi maisha marefu. Leo hii tunasema tazama kwa maandiko matakatifu na kwa hekima ambayo tunapokea kwa baba zetu tunaona hivi kwamba kumtumikia Mungu ndio siri iliyosababisha uwepo wa Mungu uandamane nao. We are saying the all time secret for long life is in abiding in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Musa akasema na kama itakuwa kwamba hautaenda pamoja nasi na usituruhusu tutoke Misri twende pale ambapo umesema tuweze kupatikana. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo mpendwa njia rahisi ya kimaandiko ya kuambatana na long life ni katika wewe kuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Nataka utazame kwa pole pole tu Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22 and 23. Nataka tutembee kwa safari ambayo inaeleweka. Haleluya. And thou shall say unto Pharaoh Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Israel ni mwanangu, tena yeye ndiye mfungua mimi tumbo la mama yake, ama firstborn, wa kwanza mzaliwa wa kwanza. Anasema 23, and I I say unto them, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo labda ulikuwa unatazama kwa nini Mungu alichagua tu uh, fasbo na kawaua. Anasema aliahidi mapema. Akisema nataka mwanangu, umemtesa sana siku nyingi. Amekuwa pa kazi wako, amekufanyia kazi, akabudu miungu wako, akakujengea bidu bikobwa, lakini nataka utazame na ujue kwamba nataka umwachilie. Na sababu ya kumwachilia ni kwamba mimi ni mzaliwa wangu wa kwanza, aweze kunitumikia mimi. Unaweza sema sababu nataka kwamba waliteseka hapana hata leo hii kuna watu wanalia kilio peke yake hakimleti Mungu katika mazingara lakini watu ambao wamejitokeza kumtumikia Mungu wote wanapatikana kubeba uwepo wa Mungu sema amen the israel that is crying and the israel that across the red sea are totally different set of people One was without the presence of God. Another one was with the presence of God. And I tell you, the Israel that left Egypt, even if Egypt was to organize itself and present itself before them, they would still have been swept clean. Because now, the presence of God was with them. And that presence was an investment of God to take them to a settled place to serve Him. Usiwe tu mtu akisema bwana wacha uwepo wako uwe pamoja na sisi tunaomba uwepo naomba uwepo uwepo ufanye nini ili kwamba unaemeshwe umtumikie Mungu ndio kama tunasema everywhere a servant of God is equally Jesus they are anointed to carry the presence of God so that they can serve God effectively and not serve the devil the devil is always contending that we may serve him and God knows that on your own ability you cannot resist the devil so he anoints you with his presence so that when the devil pulls you away to serve him you are able to resist and you serve God irresistibly amen hallelujah Mm. Mungu alikuwa pamoja nao. 
Tazama tu kidogo in the book of Deuteronomy again. Look at the seriousness of his presence in the life of many people. Walikuwa watu hisabu ya vuguvugu ni kama milioni tatu. Nukta sita hivi. Hisabu ya pole pole. Lakini atujui kahakika. Hata hivyo sijasoma yote. Lakini sitazama bile mungu alikuwa na kila moja wao. Na wana umuhimu ambao mungu aliweka katika kuwa katikati yao. Deuteronomy na 29 and verse 7. Uwepo wa Mungu ni muhimu. Maandiko yanasema hivi. Actually it's not the term chapter 27, chapter 29 as it were. It should be Exodus. That when they went from wherever they went to, the Lord God Almighty preserved them. Their shoe did not wear. Their clothes did not wear. Everything was intact. Mungu alikuwa pamoja nao. Hata ngozi kunaruka. Yesu akaja akasema, si mwili ni muhimu kuliko mavazi. Kama anashughulikia nguo, zisiraruke, viatu visiishe, na watu waweze kutembea hizo siku zote bila kufa kwa sababu ya magonjwa, je, itakuwa ni vipi sisi ambao tuna Roho Mtakatifu anayedumu katikati yetu? Bwana siwe sawa. Hallelujah. Amen. Tazama kitabu cha Exodus yenyewe hiyo. In verse 20, chapter 23 verse 25. Exodus 23 and verse 25. The Bible says, and you shall serve the Lord your God. Another verse says, you shall willingly serve the Lord your God. Uta utamfanyia Mungu kazi and he will bless your water and I will take it from your midst. Not will miscarry and be barren your land. The number of your years The number of your days I will establish. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tusemezane ukweli mpendwa. Usipate nabii akudanganye. Usipate muhubiri akudanganye. Usipate kujidanganya. Siri ya kuishi miaka mingi iko na Mungu. He is the only one who can fulfill the number of your days and it is your service in his kingdom that commits him to fulfill the number of your days. Somebody say amen. Bible nichaguo. Amesema hivyo. Verse 26. And the number of your days go fulfill. That's why we don't fear nobody. When we are positioned for serving God, we have made God, we have committed God to preserve us and to ensure that we shall live the number of years that is meant for us. Amen. Now it is true also. Njema nasema wa. Tumekia Mungu Bwana ni kwa wengine. Mimi nimeamua nitafanya vile napenda. Lakini maandiko yanasema kwamba if you don't serve him you will serve Satan and you'll be destroyed. You told me chapter 28 and verse 47 and 48. Usipokubali na moyo wako wote kwa mtumikia Mungu Maandiko yanatuonyesha kwamba Mungu atakufanya uweze kuwatumikia miungu ama adui zako na wewe hauta fulfill destiny you will suffer and be in trouble and die before your time Anasema hivi Because thou servest not the Lord kwa sababu wewe umekataa ukawa katili na usimtumikie Mungu bwana wako Anasema, and with gladness and with joy fullness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things they are poor kwa maana Mungu amekukirimia vitu vingi watu wananunua oxygen kupumua yeye amekupatia nafasi uko na nguo nyingi uko na uwezo wa kula chakula kifanya kazi vizuri uko na akili timamu uko unatembea ukifanya kazi umetoka mahali kuna nyumba umelala vizuri umeamka vizuri wewe hauko jelani uko vizuri mambo mengi Mungu amefanya ukapuuza kwa vitu vingi amefanya anasema kwa sababu hiyo umekataa therefore shall thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things 
And you shall put a yoke and put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Nikusema ni amri lazima moyo wako ubali kwa mtumiki. God is one of the ways we give thanks to God for his goodness in our lives. Amen. Kukubali kutumika na Mungu kwa yeyote yule. Maandiko yanasema kijana mkumbuke Mungu wakati ambao unaofa. Kwa maana siku zinakuja ile serving God becomes an investment in your older days. Hallelujah. I would rather serve God than serve sickness and disease. You can't serve both. I would rather serve God than serve the devil. I would rather serve God than serve anything else. No serving God is a curse. Kukataa kuwa mtumishi wa Mungu ni kujiingiza katika laana wewe mwenyewe. Ame Fanya kwa habari mzuri kutoka kwa maandiko. Bilabe. Kila taifa kina ta, ina tabia yake. Kila kabila hapa kitu Kenya iko na tabia kuna vile walio wanafanya mambo yao. Kuna circumcision program yetu siku hizi naenda kudidimia kidogo ya ajabu ajabu hivi lakini ni yetu tu hiyo. Kuna vile walio wanafanya. Kuna vile wanafanya mwana mberi weddings hata ukiwa last born they just for you mwana mberi hivi yaye mwana mberi they, they, they pray the first one. Even if you are the middle born. That, that's how they do it. Ukija ukisema interpret this word. And this one is the last one. Think for him. That is them. Amen. Kuna vile tunagawa mashamba. Kuna vile jamaa kwa na boma. First born anajenga nyumba huko. Second born anajenga huko. Third born huko. Vile hivo hivo. Kuna vile. Sijui ya wakikuyu na wakamba. Vile wanafanya. But everyone has their culture. Njia ambayo imekubalika na kila moja ya kuoa ya kuzika ya kubeba mtoto akizaliwa There's a way kikuyu sinai wa wapi Is that okay Is respected it works Apo be surprised why not follow this one in the kingdom of God, we have a culture that identifies you as a Christian. Unaweza sema wewe ni mkikuyu, lakini tabia zako hapana. Una ukikuyu hapa. Useme wewe ni muluya, lakini tabia zako lugha njina ni hivyo, lakini tabia si za huko. Kenda huko wanashangaa. Petro kenda anza kufema, oh my first born son should be called so and so. My second born, si yuko kina mama, hapana. Uh -uh. Mimi ndiyo na bwana kwa boma, ndiyo na name, toto. Wisdom head with well, alikabila jina kwa mda mrefu, likuwa Uganda. Wanasubiri, nikuje. Mama anga kamuita, unajua huya taitu wa Lazaro, the grandfather of this beloved one here. Seme utamuita Lazaro, kwa mana alizaliwa the same time, the man die. Nikikuja na sema, hapana, culture inasema, mimi, chairman, Unapiana jina. Sema you are called Wisdom Amos Orengo Junior. Inafanya kazi mbaka leo. That's our culture. Amen. In the culture of the kingdom of God, serving God is the identity. Amen. Hallelujah. Serving God is the true identity of the kingdom of God. Service. Alisema unaona mmelia vizuri nimesikia mnatoka lakini mnatoka mkienda kufanya vitu vya ufalme sio vitu vya Egypt Amen <laughs> Amuabudu kama hapa Amuabudu kama watu wa kwetu Wala tukiwa Uganda culture is ukiwa hapa Kenya wewe sijua vile culture is powerful kwa maana sisi sio tunazoea vitu sawa ukiwa Uganda bwana kupata sukuma wiki ni shida na waipendi na sisi kuipata ni ngumu tulitafuta wana soko kubwa ikomba ya kwa inaitwa wino Tunaenda kwa wino market na tafuta hata mama hizi fika kule ndani. Na tafuta nikipata sukuma wiki ni tamu kuliko nyama and very rare because of culture of our food. 
Nimekaa Uganda siku ni matoke. Matakula wenyewe wanapenda sana. Mimi ni mluya mkenya, nakula ugali. Nakula sukuma. Culture is powerful. It gives you a true identity. Kama wewe hautumiki kwa Mungu, identity yako kidogo inatatanisha hata na Mungu. Wewe ni wapi? Mbona hujaka kama wapi? Alisema mkitoka, mtoke hivi kwenda kusahau. Yesu akamwambia, "Eh, hey, ufanye hey, hata mimi mwenyewe bila naniona hivi. Nimekuja nikatii vile kuna kuwa. In the book of Philippia chapter 2 verse 5. When he found himself to be a Christian, a believer, a child of God. The Bible said, he then humbled himself to serve. He took the form of a servant. Anajua hiyo ni identity ya ufalme. He took the form of a servant. He took the form of a servant. Ili kwamba ingawaje ni Mungu katika mwili wa mwanadamu sasa yeye ni mwanadamu aliyekuwa kama ni mtu wa kawaida aitwe mwokovu ameokoka sasa anajua huku watu ambao wameokoka ama wa ufalme ni kitu kimoja ni mtumishi Amen Haleluya Asa wewe takutafutia kidogo tu when we talk about serving what is it how do we serve God what is serving God Biblia imesema namna gani mambo manne ama matatu alafu tuweze kufanya mambo mengine Amen is that the identity of the kingdom of God? What is the acceptable service? Ile ni vitu gani nafanya kufanya ili julikane kwamba mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Unajua culture ya wanadamu ni tofauti ya ufalme. Kwetu sisi kwa karne hii na wakati huu na kizazi hiki tukisema huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu tunamaanisha huyo ni muhubiri. Amen. Huyo nani? Lakini sio hivyo. Ukiulizwa Ibrahimu alihubiria kanisa gani? Washirika wa kanisa yake ni akina nani nani na ni wangapi? Wakasema mtumishi wangu Ayubu, Mungu akamuita hivyo. Je, kanisa lake likaitwa Antioki, likaitwa New Jerusalem, likaitwa Davidiki, likaitwa Ayub International Ministries ama liliitwa jina gani? Ule si muhubiri. Ni kanisa gani ambalo lilifanya Danieli na Mesha Kashadameneko wawe maskofu wakuu kwa wakati wao? Ni manabii tumekubali lakini sasa hiyo peke yake sio inayowafanya kwa watumishi wa Mungu. Kwa hivyo usaidika sana mpendwa. Uweze kuweka mawazo yako kwa maandiko. Align your thoughts to the scriptural truths of who and what is acceptable sir. Number one, you are serving God when you walk in the ways of God, when you walk in the in the in honor of Him and with your life, which attracts preserving grace of the Lord. Honor Him. Eshima yako kwa mungu, ibada yako kwa mungu, ina sababisha wewe uwe mtumishi wa mungu na katika hali hiyo. Utaishi maisha marefu yenye baraka. Amen. Ezra walitoka kule Babylon, wakaja katika hali ile ya kuabudu Mungu, I mean kwa, kwa, kwa safari. Na Mungu akawa miongoni mwao. Kwa maana walikuwa wanaenda kufanya kazi na kuheshimu Mungu. Walikuwa wanaenda kujenga the walls that had been broken. And the gate that had been broken down. They, they were going to build the things that glorify God. Walikuwa wanarejesha kujenga ukuta wa Yerusalemu ambao ulikuwa umevunjwa vunjwa na maadui wa Mungu kwa sababu ya dhambi ya wanaisraeli hawa ni kizazi kipya kimetubu kinampenda Mungu kinaabudu na kumheshimu Mungu Mungu akawa anawapeleka na kuwahifadhi ili kwamba wafike salama waweze kumheshimu katika njia alipatia Musa chochote ufanyacho katika hali ya kutukuza Mungu inasababisha we kuitwa mtumishi wa Mungu Yeyote ambaye analeta heshima kwa Mungu ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Sema amen. Kisoma Ezra chapter 8 verse 31. He delivered them for a very specific purpose. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord was upon us and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy. Amen. And from the, all of them that wait on the way 
to go to Jerusalem so that we may do that which glorifies him and confirm the prophecy that Jeremiah made on Sunday's house. Amen. Ona tazama tena Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans wa Rumi 12 mstari wa kwanza. Nimekwambia kuishi maisha ambayo yanamchukuza Bwana ni kwa ni katika hali baadhi ya vitu vikuu sana vya kuonyesha kwamba wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Bwana siwe sana. Romans 12 verse 1. Nasema hivi. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service Paulo anaeleza ibada inayokubalika kwa Mungu kuonekana wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu kuishi maisha ambayo umetoa mwili wako na matakwa yake yote ukasema mimi sitaki ngono sitaki wizi sitaki uongo sitaki kufanya mambo yasiyo kwa mazuri hiyo maandiko yanasema wewe sasa ni unatoa ibada na matumishi kwa Mungu yanayokubalika Amen. Awe together. Ibrahim akitoa kafara ya ngombe na kondoo na mbuzi, we unatoa kafara ya your desires for sex are mortified. You'd say no. I sacrifice that. You are so right, he's so wrong and you ask to forgive them. That is the living sakuna mwili wako. Unatetemeka unaweza uma na na meno. Lakini maandiko yamesema samee nasema natoa hiyo kafara. Unatumikia Mungu. Baba say that is reasonable service. Don't tell us mimi nakuwa namna hiyo. Hautakuwa mtumishi? Ah ah hiyo haipatikani kwa ufalme. Hiyo inapatikana kwa watu ambao hawajaokoka. Ndio wanasema utajua mimi ni nani. Kuna watu kama wako kwetu. Wale jamaa itwa tundo. Ukisikia tundo amekataa. Wachana nayo. Wachana nayo. Tunataka kuchapa na nyundo. Wachana nayo. Kulikuwa na jamaa wengine kwa anatoka ngambo ile nyingine. Wanakuja alikuwa na watchman wa shule huko kwetu. Ah, anafunga jamaa kwa mti wa mzambarao. Mchana anapiga nyundo pa kwa magoti. Mwinyi mnafunika macho hivi. Astuki. Hello? Amen. Wenye dunia ndio wanakasirika na wanasema utaniona utajua mimi ni nani umenisikia kwa redio utaniona macho kwa macho uso kwa uso ana kwa ana hiyo wachia Mungu ambao wanataka kuishi maisha ya wanyama wanya, wanya, kama simba nilicheka nikashangaa simba kwa wanyama hao wote wazito wazito yeye ndio anaishi miaka midogo sana kwa sababu ni jamaa wa vujo na vita yeye akipata mwenzake mwanaume anataka mungowe kwa boma lake afaulu kuingia pale aseme mimi ndio simba hapa. Hiyo ni wanyama. Usiwe namna hivyo. Hapo utakuwa unaishi maisha yasiyo kwa ya identity ya ufalme. Lakini kusamehe, upole, ukarimu na upendo kwa watu wengine na kupenda Mungu na kumtukuza katika mwili. Nani amekata? Nani mchinga? Nani mtoto hapa? You will feel desire to have sex. But you have mortified your body. You have told us this is the temple of God. It is not supposed to have sex now. And with this particular person. Therefore this is what is going to make me live long. Serving God. Honoring him. Amen. Ah. Suki amen. Yes. When you drink things that destroy the body. You are abusing the temple of God instead of servicing what the temple that God lives in. Nataka kuanzia leo uanze kuona mwili wako kama maandiko yamesema kwamba mwili wako ni hekalu ya Mungu. Amen. Na kwa sababu ile hekalu inafaa kuhifadhiwa. Ikawe safi. Kwa sababu tunaheshimu wenye nakaa kwa hiyo nyumba. Kila mtu hapo umetoka kwa nyumba yako unaweza tazama vile umepanga nyumba yako ama kama wageni wanakuja. Je, Mungu si mgeni? Mungu ni mkuu anayekaa. Kwa hivyo ni vibaya kwamba unakana uchafu na unahudumisha uchafu mahali ambapo Mungu wako anakaa. Lakini usafishe, utengeneze ikuwe sawa. Maandiko yanasema hapo wewe is reasonable service. Romans chapter 12. 
That is how we serve God. Amen? Tuende kwa Paulo akiongea na Wakolosai. Sura ya tatu mstari wa tano hadi wa kumi. Tunaona ni nani mtumishi wa Mungu? Bwana siwe sana. Ule mtumishi wa Mungu ndiye ataishi miaka mingi. Amesema Mungu anasema kwamba utamtumikia Mungu naye atakupatia chakula chako cha kila siku. Amejicommit kusema mimi nitatoa magonjwa. Nikisafisha nyumba yangu, nitangoa magonjwa nitoe na kila kitu ambacho ni barren, kile ambacho hakizalishi, mapapo na nguvu wazazi na katau zao katika mwanaume na mwanamke anatoa kwa sababu hii ni kalu yake. Anatengeneza nyumba yake, ameruhusiwa na wewe Ulie kubali nyumba hiyo ukaidedicate kwamba ni ya namna ile. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wakolosai sura ya tatu mstari wa tano. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Yaani kumortify ni kuua tu. Kunyonga, kumaliza, kukandamiza na kuharibu na kutoa uhai kila kiuke be, uh, kila kitu katika maisha yako ukiwa hapa duniani. Amen. Nasema watu kama wasiki anza kusema fornication amesema nini sema kila moja sema nini foni jasikia yes, ukisema kwa maana akasema multiply therefore your members which are upon the earth akasema number 1 on the list what fornication and cleanliness inordinate affection unajana inordinate affection kitu gani unapenda tv kwa njia ambayo sio kwa kawaida ya pana Unapenda chakula kwa njia ambayo ina ibada ndani yake. Hiyo hapana. Unapenda kuongea ongea maneno mengi bila sababu. Hiyo hapana. Uko na affection kwa vitu ambavyo havimtukuzi Mungu anasema hiyo wachana nayo. Uwa kabisa nyonga castrate it it should not produce inordinate affection. Those things. Amen kwa adogo bwana lazima tu nitoke nyumbani kwa miguu jioni saa moja. twende shatala 5 km away twende kwa, kwa market just around there unaangalia tu hivi watu wanapita wanasema narudi you can't sleep kabla unyenda shatala hapana hiyo town wende kwa town tu just parade yourself umeona kana tu town umeona yeah yeah yes alafu narudi nyumbani usiku unaanza gongwa bure inordinate affection ushaenda pale kidurai sio kidurai hapa waiteti wanaomba Mungu asaidie wale vijana. Unaona jamaa wamegeja tu, wamekaa tu wako tu wanaangalia magari. Hii hii hi, si mzuri, hii ndio mzuri. Mimi nikikaa na gari nitakuwa na hii Prado na hii na hii. Ah, hii not sio poa. Hii mpaso. E, e. Wanakaa wakimaliza masaa ya bure, wanaenda makao nyumbani. That kind of inordinate affection of wasting time. Uwa kijana utapoteza. Najua na, na I'm just passing time with evil affection. Don't do that. Kwenu wa maana kuliko hiyo. Amen. Hallelujah. Mesema. Covetousness. Uyo boyfriend wake ni yake kwa wangu. Mindi unafaa. Uni shape. Hata uyo girlfriend yake uyo. Ana shape kama yangu. Ni mimi nige kwa na ye. Uyo mstana ni mimi ndio ni kwa na ye. Hii gari nige kwa ni lango. Hii mkubiri. Ni mimi ndio nige ubiri. Hii mambo nige kwa. Sio wale wanakuali. Covetousness. Tama ya vitu vya watu wengine. Hivyo ni vitu maandiko anasema. Mwenye kufanya hivyo. Anatumikia shetani. Na hatujui kama ataishi miaka mingi. It affects you. Amen. Hamesema. Evil conscupiscence. Akili ambayo, your conscience is evil. Una fikiria tu bitu baba. Hey, hawa watu wa, na hama wamekufa. Hawa jakufa. Pasa na kwa niambia, juzi ya likuwa na mtu wa na wambia. Wadu wa pada jali, badila kufikiria kusaidia. Wanasema, eh, hawa jakufa. Una matarajio tu. Eh, hawa jakufa. Pada Eh, na sasa nini, unaona TV. Ho, hiyo gari walipona kwe. Your conscience is always you are conscious of it. Yeah. You are vile. Hivi tu Kenya wewe ujui Kenya. Conscious yako iko move towards negative. Negative, 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 negative. Ukiona wakihubiri hivi kuna kitu. Ukiona wakisema hivi kuna kitu. Ukisema ah, that one. No. You are not serving God. Wanasema hivi Covetousness, which is idolatry. Can you imagine? Ukipenda kitu cha mwenzako, sio muubiri amesema, 
Tena ni Mungu anasema kule kwa Paulo anasema wewe ni mwabudu sanamu. Ibada unatoa kwa mapepe sio kwa Mungu. Sema ni mimi ningekuwa na hii, hii ingekuwa yangu. Awafai ni vile amunijui Bwana. Hii kitu mkinipa awa bure kabisa. It is me who should have this one. Sijui ni nini nafanyika. Sijui nikosea Mungu hapa. Angenipa hii mimi ndio nafaa. Awa ufai. Maandiko yanasema hiyo ni ibada kwa mashetani. He says in which also walked in some time when you lived in them. Ulikubalika ile wakati hujaokoka ni sawa. Ndivyo hivyo mbungurue. Sasa ukipata nguruwe amechafuka, unaanza kupiga kele. Ni nguruwe bwana. Unataka kupiga mfanyikazi wako. Na wewe hujajengea hata nguruwe mahali pasapo. Nguruwe ameenda kwa mto karibu na kule kweli. Na sasa unaanza mfanyikazi huyu si msafi. Nguruwe mchafu kwa nini? Hapana. Nguruwe tu ni mchafu. Acha kupambana naye. Mtoe pale mweke mali pengine. Ndio useme sasa namna gani. Wewe ulipokuwa nguruwe, ulikuwa tu mchafu na akili mbaya na tamaa na hizo fornication na hizo adultery na hizo lying na hizo ni it was there now you have been born again you serve god by not doing those things look at scripture anasema but now also ah uh, anasema which also you walked in them when you lived in them but now you also put off all this anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication of your mouth. Kuna wajamaa bwana wameokoka lakini lugha yao shaka. Hey, kuna angalia usema Aksha sema mambo na sikasema bwana asifiwe. Sema ah. Eh. Oh, Allah. Hata wajamaa. Ulisema sijui nini ya mama yake na bado unasema umeokoka. Hapana. Na umezoea. Ile ushaskia lugha yao si wakuja we believers. Makanga urij hajaokoka. Lugha yao unaijua? Umeokoka baada uko kwa ile lugha. Sha. Hapana. Hapana. Anasema, lie not one to another. Seeing that you have put off the old man with this this. Usiseme tu kwamba na mdomo nimeokoka, lakini matendo ya zamani yawe ni yamekufa. Wewe uwe kiumbe kipya na matendo ya kitambo. Ebo ningependa tu kuchukue sabu ya matendo yako. Ukajiulize haya pia ni matendo yangu katika Kristo ama haya ni matendo ya watu wa dunia. Utaanza kuwa mtumishi mwema, anayekubalika. Wacha na hii watu kukuambia story. You are a good preacher. You are a good. Hata mhubiri anaweza kuwa kose. Tunalilia Mungu sana mhubiri. Tumefanya makosa mengi na matendo mengi asio asio kubalika. Mungu atulehemu. Kwa hivyo sio kuati ukihubiri ati wewe unatumika kutumika ni kutuki, kufanya jambo ama maneno ambayo yanaleta utukufu kwa Mungu in your private life. Amen. In the privacy of your heart you are glorifying God. Katika siri ya moyo wako wewe ni wa kumtukuza nani? Amen. And have put on the new man which is renewed in the knowledge out of the image of him that created him. Amen. Bwana siwe sana. Hivyo ndivyo kunavyokuwa. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego refused to be defiled. Walikataa kuchafuliwa. Kuna jisiwa na chakula cha hekalu, ya cha cha cha, cha palace ya kule Babylon. They refuse. It is a symbol of the things we are talking about in the New Testament. They refuse to eat the, the, the defiled food. Walikataa. Wewe na ukatae kwa maana wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Shadow wa Meshach and Abednego waliishi Bwana, wakiletea matatizo na tabu. Simba akuje, moto na uongezewe, na wakasema ongeza mara saba. wenye kuwapeleka kuingia kwenye moto ndio wanaokufa. Lakini watu ambao wamejitolea kutukuza Mungu kama Ishak Meshach and Abednego, tazama, it is the degree of your uncompromising commitment to glorify God that commits God to your long life. Which in must happen through security and protection. Listen my evil last week. Amen. So when you glorify God by standing your ground, mimi silali na wewe. Mimi sibadilishi figa. Mimi sifanyi namna hiyo kwa sababu mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Hapo ndipo sasa umeweka insurance against all evil in the life. Job Job chapter 1 verse 1. The Bible said and there was a man from the land of Uz whose name is called Job. He was a man that was righteous, devoted to God, and who eschewed evil. 
awande Mungu akakutana shetani akasema wewe ibilisi unatoka wapi akasema kutembea hivi na hivi ile ilikuwa anamwambia ile ya kwenda kwenda sala ile ya kutanga tanga hivi huku kata keke kako tak maona hii maona ile maona mpaka na ayub akasema huyu ayubu haezi endelea kama mimi bado nakaa katika enzi ya ufalme wa shetani shetani akajiambia mimi taona kwamba huyu amekufa mapema ha walipoenda kujaribu kuua ayubu walipata kumbe ile ile ua la, la Mungu God put a hedge of fire to protect him and his property Amen Watu wamedanganywa Bwana righteousness preserves your physical life Amen Kuishi maisha ya kumtukuza Mungu ni hifadhi ya maisha yako na mali yako sehemu hii ya dunia Wewe ni ukweli wa maandiko They were preserved. They were protected. They were delivered. The enemy tried to kill them, but the preserving grace of God moves through righteousness. Ndio kwa maana ukubali tukufundishe haki ya Mungu kwa sababu unataka kuishi maisha ambayo Mungu ameweka rubber stamp. Huyu naye adui hataguza. Walipokuwa wamekubali Mungu ameambatana nao, aliwatangulia walikuwa wachache na maandiko anasema and god made sure he rebuked the kings of mighty and nations and them and said touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm i decree to you also today as you hear this word and believe in it you shall enter into a situation that you shall be exempted from premature death immunized from every destruction of life the devil will not take you out in the journey of life You shall fulfill the number of your days on the platform of righteousness on the platform of serving God and honoring God in your body. Amen. Number two, You serve God by treating fellow human beings rightly. Number one, The Bible says and you shall honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you on the number of your days shall be multiplied upon the land which God has set you. Amen. Unakuwa mtumishi wa Mungu, unapotendea wanadamu mawatu mambo mazuri kama kumheshimu baba na mama, akasema hii ndio amri ya kwanza ambayo iko na ahadi kwamba yeyote anayemheshimu mzazi, huyo ni mtu ambaye mambo yake itaenda vizuri na tena ataishi miaka mingi du generation yetu hii wale ambao wamesoma kidogo wakapita wazazi wakaona wao wamechanuka wale sasa wakaona upuzi wa wazazi wakajifanya hao ndio wanajua ndio kwa maana unapata kuna magonjwa yamechipuka ambayo hayakukua kitambo hata desturi yetu ya waafrika wa kitambo mtu tu alikuwa anamuondokea mzazi hata mzazi mlevi hata mzazi mzinzi hata mzazi mwenye mambo ya ajabu mwenda zimu na chichote hawakukua wanapambana na wazazi lakini kukachipuka kizazi ambacho kinajiona kimechepuka sana wazazi wa hawana maana kwao wanaona wanaweza jibu vile wanavyotaka na niposa wakufa kifo cha mapema lakini mwenzangu naye nisikia siku ya leo uwe mzee kama mimi na miaka mizuri ama uwe mdogo kiasi gani tambua kama una nafasi ya kuwa na mzazi wa kiroho na mzazi wa kimwili wa kawaida ni lazima itakupasa kama unataka kuishi maisha marefu ili waheshimu waheshimu wazazi ambaye jirani yako waheshimu wazazi waheshimu wazazi wako Amen. Ni maandiko nje ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Two B, that is two A. Or first of course, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Serve God by honoring others. Amen. Wewe ni mtushimu wa Mungu unapoheshimu wanadamu, watu wenzako. Ningependa sana Paulo katika Romans chapter 12 and verse number 10. Ningependa kusikia kwa another version of the scripture. Sijui una version gani hapo utusomee ukiwa nayo ambayo inasema mambo ya, ya muhimu kama haya. Paulo ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na ufunuo, ambaye alitumika na Mungu, ambaye anajua mambo mengi mazuri. Tazama maandiko amesema in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor in honor preferring one another. Amen. 
kupenda na moyo wacha kupenda na mdomo mna una hug mtu na msalimia daddy how are you my sister i love you so much akisha toka tu huyo naye watu kimhaga siji naye umemuona mimi simpendi by the way ni vile tu ukristo unakubali usalimie kila mtu mimi kama ingewezekana singe singe msalimia ah 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 you are not serving god you are not serving god you don't want to live long you serve god by loving genuinely knowing that this is my family amen mpendwa mkristo yeye ni family mimi niko na, na, na privilege kubwa privilege kubwa you know kukuja kwa wilderness kama hii kutoka kule kwote na hapa ni kiandutu and you yani na kupenda kwa lazima amen i have a rare privilege hapo nimeokolewa mapema it is impossible to imagine one of a million to hurt anybody mao so pastor that has come to church listening online it's impossible it's impossible hiyo watu kidanganya waambie tu hapana hiyo ni pepo inaongea ndani yako we love affection you are the reason why i am in tika today kwa maana mungu alisema nikuje tika alisema enda tika anybody i meet in tika mimi ni kama makanga shao na makanga hata ukiwa kwa gari yako pastor anataka kutoa hii hii ni ya kwenda Nairobi Gidurai Nairobi anakuwa na wewe uko na gari ukitoka kidogo anataka uingie kwa yake Gidurai Nairobi una na anaaibu kwamba hata hukumjibu mimi sina aibu ulikuja amen have affection that is the how we serve god by honoring others above yourself ilifundisha hiyo vizuri sana ha wakikusifu sema hapana hapana you are better than me you are better than me unajua nataka miaka isonga haraka sana there's a better general overseer who will tell this one to greater heights than myself i know wasi kwamba nakwambia kwamba nataka ku intimidate lakini ukitoka kuna mtu mzuri kukuliko waliambia waliambia nani Musa aliambia uh, Saul there's a better neighbor than yourself who is going to take over a little boy honor others more than yourself wacha kujipea kifua hebu nipe mimi ndio naweza siku moja kuwe mhubiri alafu ulize watu ulisikia nini jana tulikuwa kwa kesha tukimaliza hebu mtamaniambia pasa unaona ile ulikusema sijui nini 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 hiyo ni ilikuwa yangu hiyo nilikuwa nasema by the way nilikuwa na hata si ya kusema by the way hiyo ndio ameshika so beloved just love let brotherly love ooze out of you unapenda ukipenda umependa ukapenda paka mtu anashangana kwani una agenda nyingine bwana unanipenda hivyo no i am here because of you i'm privileged I pray for you nobody must die here i am deadly committed to it with all my intestines my life i've never asked my wife whether she likes it or not like lazima tukuje tu hapa usiku tukuombe wewe kwa maana tunakupenda mambo ambayo tunakuombea sisi hatuna shida hapo lakini nataka wewe upate baraka ile nataka uolewe na wewe utulie kwa boma vizuri upate mahitaji ya moyo wako utaka gari upokee nataka mtoto lazima pepo chapo afungwe atoke watoto wakuje kwa tumbo yako unatoka biashara ipanuke tunalilia Mungu usiku na mchana baba nyoosha mkono wako wapate kupokea kibali cha Obedidom wanapoenda biashara milango ifunguke na mimi sifanyangi biashara ubiri na ubiri passion genuine love huwa anapata aibu kwa niaba ya watu kuambia bia let me pray for myself lord na Swallow everything that came with me to this church this day napata watu wanashama baka ni kama karate ya kiroho rika patata kaka sota peka topa die wacha tuombe sasa mchungaji tuombe pastor George tuombe pastor Linette tuombe pastor Rengo uh, gado sasa nisikia uh, hapa in the name of Jesus Lord bless them bless them bless them bless them they are your servants Lord bless them in the name of Jesus hata usikizi kama ilikuwa inakuja inakuja sana me bless them i bind i bind jesus i bind jesus i bind jesus for pastor rengo bind jesus umekuwa mpaka mlivi katika usingizi kwa maana unaona kama hii hapana lakini wakisema yako jarupra kate salabanda in the name of jesus every devil must now die 
Mimi huwa nashangaa kama Mungu usikia. <laughs> Hello. You are serving God when you have affection for one another. Amen. Eh. Pena mpendo. Uko na kitu ambacho hana na unaweza share. Share with them. Show them love. Amen. Number three, number C. You serve God by meeting the needs of others. You serve God by meeting the needs of others. Matthew 25 verse 40. Si wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Yesu alisema namna gani katika maandiko hayo? Akasema, when you did it for this my little brethren, you did it for me. So if you are serving people's needs, you are serving Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Is hallelujah? Yes, sir. We for purpose of respect and honor, we cannot tell you some things we do as a ministry. But there are needs of men. We must meet. I was trained in that by the grace of God. And I know. Praise is Tangaza. Lakini kuna vitu bia watu. Lazima mkristo aishugulikie. Nyo asemekane anamfanyia mungu. Wana suesa. Yes. You can't be serving your own thing. Say I'm serving God. Naona mimi na bibiangu. Nimewalisha mekua F ya 4 poa. Tutu wangu wa meso. Na kuna maitaji ya mtoto wa ndugu yako. Kuna maitaji ya mpendwa wako. Kuna maitaji ya jirani yako. Kuna maitaji ya bosu wako. Kuna maitaji ya mtoto wenu. Kuna maitaji ya watu wakwenu. Kuna maitaji ya watu usiota wajua. Lakini unawezo na unawujuzi. Na ushuguliki. Wewe si mtumishi kamili. Lakini leo hii umelewa na umesikia. Yesu akasema mwenyewe. Unapo wafanyia hawa ndugu zangu ambao ni wadhaifu. Wako hospitalini, umeenda tu kuangalia. Hata hujawaombea, wewe wako jela, umeenda tu kuwaona. Hata hujawaombea, wewe umeona wale ambao ni wageni ukawakaribisha tu. Umeona wale jamaa ambao wako na njaa, ukawapatia mlo. Umeona wale ambao hawana nguo poa, ukawapatia nguo. Hapo basi ulipowatendea, ulikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Haukuhubiri, usidanganye mhubiri tu peke yake, ndio mtumishi. Alisema when you did it for this my little brethren, you so now listen. If you want to be an effective servant, you'll be looking out in the church. First, do good unto all men and especially of the household of faith. Tasama hapa, ama kunaeza kwa. Ulita mchungaji. Hiyo ndiyo uduma ya mchungaji, unaitaji kukua kwa ofisi. Usije tu pasta ni ombe. Kuja kwa ofisi ulize, jee pasta. Niko nanguwa unyubane huko. Jee kunazo. Wacha ni kuambie. Watu upeana bitu hapa. Pia jabu sana. Ah. Ndiyo ukisikia ukisema, usitoe tu pesa pekake. Toa hata na bitu. Wakaleta vya tu pea tatu. Zanguvu. Bigu ambayo mimi sijai wana mshirika wa believer sike wanazo. Nazini naweka bizuri sana. Siku moja, one of my sons in the faith. Mchungaji. Hamekuja hapa kutemelea. Hei buwana. Kati mechapa 45 degrees kak. Hamepaga repair mbaka sura imepotea. Udukufu wake na wa yesu, umepotea. Sio kwa maana glory kwa uro. Lakini kwa mabazi. Akanambia, dadi, kiatu chako nataka unipe ni vaye. Niko bibaya. Nikaenda kaputolia kiatu chango. Hakitoshi. Kwa roo mtakatifu, hakanisha tu. Nikaenda, nikaona bia tu bingine. Kuna jamali kwa mebaa kama natumia kwa kufanyafanya kazi hapa. Nikaambia, we, pana cheza na mali ya mungu. Kuenda kuangalia vile biatu buwana. Bizuri, pea tatu ya maana. Alinamia yesu. Haka inama tena. Haka inuka. Haka isema ni meokoka. Wacha niende liambia bibi yango. Vile mungu wa menitendea. Huko believer faith embassy. Kwa ketu ambaye mwenye alitoa. Hata hata mbui. Lakina amini kwamba kwa furaha ya ule mchungati. Hata na ule mtumisha liye toa. Baraka zinamfuata chana. Na hii mekuja haje. Amen. Kuna suti likuwa mekapa na ipenda sana. Usipo hiyo na ujendio hiyo na ungelea. Na ipenda smart. Imekami yaka. Mizuri inakanga hivi na mimi na iweka tosifai sana. Ile siku mwai umependa. Hakama nikama ajambia huyu jamaa vila mefraia viatu. Nikimpache yi suti. Paradveja imtua. Ikamtosha kama mimi. Alisema hee. Nikamia peleka kwa Londri kwa sema never. Kesho mimi na ngara. Amen. 
Okay, wama mwambia pastor Rengo is not my father. Amuna kosana. Hata kupa ngume. Haezo kukambia pole pole unasema nini. That's how we serve people. When we serve God, we are looking for the needs of men. Wana suwe sana. Kama hiyo ni kuhubiri, niko na hubiri wengi sana kanisani hama. Sama pasa, hii nguo inakaa kama unaba. Utaka smart. Naba. Pasa, ukikula. Na wana niletanga pili zungina hapo sema, Jesus is... Nikiitwa kwa mubiri, nita hubiri tena. Kama hivi, nita wana kuletea vitu. Hata wajui. Sama baba, wangalia na macho ya blessing. Na wasikose chakula kwao. Na watu wao barikiwe. You need to know. You don't serve people. You are not serving God. Useme, siku hile munga danita, nita hubiri kama pasa orengo. Ni nita kwa natumika bizuri ya pana. Wewe ni mtumishi yodari, unapo chunguza ndani ya mungu, watu wa mungu. Uulize na angona kama haneza kwa naibu. Kuja kwa, mimi nisi wa ugopi. Ni watoto wangu wote wana nisikia. Kuna mtu atasikia mbaya. Je, hii nguo, hii pesa, school fees. Kuna jamaa sema, nisijulikane. Lakini fisa huyu na huyu, nataka nelipe. Isijulikane. Na hii laptop, pasa, tumepeana kwa kanisa. Isijulikane. That is how they serve. Utashanga wanabarikiwa na mnagani. Hawaja ubiri. Hawatumishi na mnagani. Hiyo television. Hicho chakula usiwae mu. Ambia mutu milio ni metoa. That is how they serve. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 37. The story of the good Samaritan. The man is Jesus himself. Waja ni kuambia ukwele. Habla ujiku kutafsiri mandeko. Mwenye alisema. Do likewise. Ili upoke maisha milele. Yes, alikuwa na jiongelea mwenyewe. When you serve others, you look like Jesus. And you cannot kill Jesus. Si unajua? Wewe kama Yesu siku kwamba alikuwa hende tu kuandaa mnyumba yangu na ime chukua lakini meisha. Kani, wanasema kiisha unaenda apana. Inaisha tu na kwa smart. Na ngojea, mungu ni mtu wa kupanga bitu ya miaka mingi mapema. Iko saa. Amen? When you serve others, you look like Jesus. When you look like Jesus, you become what we call in our English, unkillable. Amen? You live long. You live long. You live long. One of the sons. Number D. You serve God by following in the footsteps of your fathers and receive the heritage of long life. You serve. Hebrews 6 verse 12. And you... Do not be lazy, but be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the blessings of heaven. Baadhi ya vile vitu munga meanda, ni katika kukupatia maisha marefu ya watumishi wa mungu kama Ibrahimu, kama Isaka, kama Yakobo, kama Musa, kama Joseph, kama Daniel. Awa jama wali sabi mungu. Amen? Lakini walikuwa na wafuasi wa ajabu. Isaac is a follower of the footsteps of his father. Joseph is a follower of the footsteps of his father Jacob. Joshua is a follower of the footsteps of his father Moses. Jesus said, Verily, very I say to you, whosoever believes in me, the things I do shall he also do. You shall become like Jesus when you follow in the footsteps of, foot of Jesus in holiness, in righteousness. Buona Suesa. Wali pofanya mambo wali ofanya, na emunga kapa long life. We ukifanya ilio wafanya, wali ofanya, utakwa hivyo. Amen? This one for you to take home. Serving God enables you to see miracles others cannot see. Ukifanya mambo ni mekwambia yote. Utatembea katika njia miujiza, Ambaye watu wengine, hawaoni. Hawaoni. They don't see. Now listen. When Jesus went to Cana of Galilee for the wedding, and there was a shortage of wine, and Mary said, whatever it tells you to do, and the Bible says, and the servants at the wedding are the ones who are told, wewe, chukua yo maji ya corona, Akusabisha mikone ya watu. Pale kwa mlangu. Leta hapa kwa altar. Maybe, kama wale wengine wa majua. It is only the ones who served that knew what miracle happened. 
Forget our juice. Hey, he juice in the power. He juice in the power. He juice in the power, sana. He juice in the power, sana. Hey, the wine is sweet. Yeah, yes, we. He was making it in Missouri. But those who obeyed, who served, knew. When you serve, you see what others are not seeing. You, you, people just say, oh, there's breakthrough there. We have our testimony of divine healing, of deliverance, of this and that. We, you hear, but those who are serving in prayer, in fasting, in following the word, in living right, in doing the will of God, they are the ones that know this is God. And it's better to be a servant who knows that God is what God is doing than to be just a partaker, enjoying it, enjoying it. No. They were enjoying the miracle of cross the Red Sea. How are you believe Musa and Nani are fighting? So they wana kwa wa pumbavu. Paka ta wajui ni Mungu. Wana kata sema huyu Musa ameenda kufanya nini huko? Wewe nani na nani pangeni msafara mzuri. Tunajua njia ya kurudi Misri. Kwa maana hawa participate in serving. There you know. When you serve you see God. When you see God your faith is boosted. You have be, have be clear way of performing your own miracles on your own in your own life. Amen. Serving God enables you to live like Jesus. Serving God enables you to live like Jesus. That is why you become unbeatable. You become irresistible. You become a blessed person because you serve Him. The Samaritan man, I told you, he, Bible says, he, the one that said, take all his feet. Meet all the deeds of the fellow. That is how Jesus behaved. He said, "This men and women, they are sinners. But some may baba, how are you? Ni me tembe apa chini, ni me ona. We live from zero to nevalisha. Nguo ya mwili wana dam. Ni me wa same tu, wa same, wa same, wa same, wa same, same orengo kabisa, same kabisa. Wa same complete. When you do those kind of things, you look like Jesus and you live like Him. Amen." Look at the last thing we see from the scripture. Read with me the book of Job. Ayubu Surah Yatano, Msado Kumna Sabah, Hadi, Ama churches on the Nyingi Sana, Lakin Kidogo too. Let's look at Job chapter 5. You are happy the man whom God corrects. Usiani Nyumasi me pasa leo ameni ubiri. Anajuaje mimi ni mtu wa fornication, anajuaje mimi ni mtu wa adultery, anajuaje mimi ni mtu wa asira. Nani alimwambia? Nani alimwambia? Mama, wewe ndio ulimwambia. Bibi yango, wewe ndio ulimwambia. Fulani, wewe ndio ulimwambia. Ah. Bible says like this. Wewe ni mtu ambaye umebarikiwa. Ikiwa Mungu kwa neno lake roho yake watakukorrect. Amen. Behold happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore despise not thou the chastening, chastening of the Lord. Wanaongea juu ya Ayubu. Ayubu alikuwa na makosa ingine hapo. Yakuwa muoga muoga. Anamini mungu tena naogopa. Akifanya kafara ya watoto wake ni uoga tu. Sio kwa manamini sana. Anaogopa. Sema, that which I feared came upon me. And he was corrected by God. Verse 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make cold. Hada kama umesikia mambo mengine kikuchoma sana kwa ibada ya leo hii Mungu tu atakusaidia uponye ukuwe mtu mtumishi kamilifu ambaye anabarikiwa kama Ayubu He say he shall deliver thee in six troubles yeah the seven days shall not evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword yani ukikubali kutoka kwa njia ambayo ni ya kutumika kwa shetani. Una kinyongo, una maovu, una kuonea watu, una kutopenda wapendwa, unapenda watu wa dunia, upendi vitu mzuri, you just like evil. Uh -uh. Sema ukikatayo maneno, na upendi ya sawa, hata kama kutakuwa na nchaa, wewe utakombolewa kutoka kwa kifu. Sema amen. And in war from the power of the sword, say amen. Thou shall be hid from the scourge of tongue. Yaani watakusema huyu ataanguka ndio yake itafanya hata pata mtoto hata pata kasi hata olewa hata kuwa nini la 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 na unijua hiyo ni laana lakini maandika nasema wewe ukikubali kuwa corrected kutoka yale mambo mabaya 
na ukakubali kudirect maisha kwa mambo yaliyo sawa inasemekana laana ile ya mdomo ya wanadamu wachafu na wabaya haitakudhuru wewe amen he said thou shall heed from the scourge of the tongue neither shall thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh a destruction and famine thou shall laugh neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee thou shall know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace hallelujah ukikubali siku ya leo kwamba yaliyokuwa maovu na yasiri sana ndani ya maisha yako umeachana nayo na ukakubali kuwa mtumishi kamili wa maandiko na neno la Mungu maandiko anasema na ujue vizuri kwamba maisha yako na nyumba yako vitakuwa na amani ya kiungu sema amen 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 and thou shall visit thy habitation and shall not sin Mungu atakutoomba kutoka kwa kwa dhambi na safa ba 25 thou shall know also that thy seed shall be great and thy offspring at the grass of the earth thou shall come to thy grave in full age like as a shock of corn cometh in his season unapotumika kwa Mungu na ukubali kwamba ulikuwa kwa makosa na umerejesha kuwa kuzuri maandiko yanasema sasa wewe sasa wewe utakufa kama mbegu yoyote ile mzuri Hakuna mbegu ambayo ina inapotea katikati say you shall come to a grave in maturity ripe old age not unripe not in the middle I saw my father after retirement begin to do farming like never before my mother was a better farmer when my father was a teacher and when my father retired when he entered 60 the man began to do farming that my father my mother still uses till today and we have now copied from him there are some things that have not yet begun at even 70 so when you die at 50 60 you have not died where well. that time is not yet kuna mambo mengine ambayo ni mengi mungu anataka kufanya maishani mwako lazima uishi na ukamilishe yote ambayo ulipangiwa sema amen bion ya pili say i shall live i shall not die to declare the works of the lord Sema ni kama unataka kuishi maisha marefu. Amen. Hallelujah.